Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I am George. We're all George. It's Bitcoin Having Day. That's right. Today is the having event. We've been waiting four years for today. And it's finally coming. This is a very significant day for Bitcoin, all of crypto. So I'm going to break it down for you guys. And Bitcoin is reacting in a positive way to the having event and several other things that are going on right now. Let me explain. So as you can see, Bitcoin, as I'm filming, is around 65,000, a little bit below. We had a little dip overnight to about 59.5 and then quickly bounced back up to about 62. And now we're right around 65,000. So obviously we're doing a little bit better than we did for this entire week, right? And that's because the having event is here. By the time you watch this, it'll be about 10 hours. That means tonight, tonight we will have the having happen. Okay, now a lot of you guys know about the having event, but some of you guys may be new and you don't know what the hell having an event means. And why is it so significant? Well, let me break it down. Okay, starting from the beginning. When Bitcoin first came out, okay, with the very first Genesis block, every block that came out afterwards rewarded 50 Bitcoin for securing a network, okay? And four years, 2012, we had a having event. This is programmed by code. Okay, so you can't change it. It's not like the Fed. You can't just have a having anytime you want. You can't apply monetary policy to Bitcoin. This is set by code. So uh, 2012, the block reward was cut down to 25. Then 2016, cut down to 12.5, right? 2020, cut down to 6.25. And now after, this, after today's having event, inflation rate will be cut down to 3.125. Okay, as you can see, this is a very significant drop and will not stop forever, basically. So the next one, 2028, drops to 1.56, and then it goes sub one. And that this is when it gets really, really, really difficult to produce any new Bitcoin. Right now, like 95% have been produced, so everyone is fighting for the last few percentages. Okay, but this is why the having event is so important because Bitcoin has a set supply and inflation rate gets cut in half every four years. And this one that we're going to experience will cut the inflation rate of Bitcoin below even gold's inflation rate, okay, which is very significant. This is why Bitcoin continues to stay strong and continues to grow every single cycle. Because it is scarce. It's really that simple. Now, as for the having event, what happens to the price before and afterwards? According to plan B, six months before the having, you see Bitcoin go up 2x. Six months after having event, you see it go up 2x. And then six to 18 months after a having event, you see the price go up 4x. Now, this is not set in stone. That's pretty much an average over the years. Okay, but this year, this cycle, very different because we have ETFs. We never had ETFs ever in Bitcoin's history. And it is adding so much buying pressure because institutions and other funds and countries are loading up on Bitcoin. And we have never, ever seen Bitcoin break its previous high before a having event. And we did that a month ago. So just because previous cycles follow this pattern does not mean we can't go up much more than this six months afterwards could be a 4x or 5x and this could be pushed up to 10x we really don't know where bitcoin is going to end if i had to guess i would say bitcoin is going to stop around 200 250,000 by the end of the cycle but it could certainly go higher than that it could go to 300 400 500,000 this cycle this is why Bitcoin is so exciting, why you want to be in the game, and why the having event is the most bullish catalyst of any cycle. Okay, now there's two other things that are helping Bitcoin's price as of right now. A lot of people are worried about the war. Israel did retaliate today, but it seems like this was a very limited retaliation, and 
maybe this was done on purpose because the U.S. and others have told Israel not to go all out, right? So we don't know if Iran is going to respond or not, but it does seem like whatever site that Israel attacked was limited to military compounds only. And right now, as we as we digest the news, it does not seem like both countries will go to all-out war. And I'm hoping that's the case, right? This is one of the big catalysts right now. Or one of the big question marks, I should say. Because obviously when this news broke out, Bitcoin dipped down. So that is pretty positive, I would say, for now. Of course, this could turn out very ugly very fast. But as of right now, the U.S. market, the futures market, is actually turning green because of this. And that's very positive. And also, we have seen ETFs actually start selling off. There's actually an outflow. But yesterday's outflow was very limited, only down to $4 million, Which means, again, those that have been selling are slowing down, including Grayscale. Right? Grayscale sold two hundred and what? $260 million? But the others were able to make up for it. So that is overall good. Again, Grayscale can't sell forever. And as Bitcoin gets stronger, more inflows will go into the ETFs and it's self-sustaining. And we're going to see a lot more price action to the upside because of these factors. So these are all very, very positive. And of course, it's not just the institutions that are loading up. Holders have been taking advantage of the dip. This is what I've been telling you guys. Take advantage of the low, low prices. Whenever Bitcoin and crypto goes on sale, why would you not want to take advantage? It makes sense to take advantage. And $1.7 billion moved into accumulation in wallets. That means most of you guys are taking advantage. And here's something interesting from Michael Saylor. I don't know. If he's actually giving you a prequel or giving us a prequel of what's happening or 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 he's just talking about himself. Okay, here's a scenario. What if an investor with unlimited capital announced a program to acquire 450 Bitcoin daily at a market price for the next four years and hold the asset forever? What if they increased it to 675 daily in 2028, 787? So you, you notice it's increasing, right? Who is this investor? Is it Michael Saylor himself? MicroStrategy, or is it someone else that he knows that's about to come into this space? Obviously, that's going to add to a lot of buying pressure as well. So I don't know who it is, but you can see Tether, Tether keeps on minting more. That means a lot more money is coming in. So all these things together are very, very, very positive. So um, I'm excited. Everyone I met today. So today is the second day of Token 2049. And today I was getting recognized even more than yesterday. Yesterday, it was, you know, it's like um, people are coming up to me like, you know, every five, ten minutes. Today was like every ten seconds, man. Uh, it was so much so that I couldn't really do anything or eat or drink or whatever, but it's okay. You know, I kind of expect it. If I go to a crypto conference, people are going to recognize me. But everyone I've talked to, like I said yesterday, everyone I talked to is so bullish, right? They know the having events coming up. They know that Bitcoin and crypto, the entire industry is only going to get bigger. I got interviewed a couple times, right? A lot of people do share my sentiment about how deep in and AI and memes are going to do very well this cycle. Of course, that's in addition to Bitcoin. And there are many others like layer twos and layer ones that will do well too. I, I got stopped by a couple L2s that are building on top of Bitcoin, but there's are many others that are just building right now on top of Solana, on top of the ETH, on top of these other L2s for Ethereum. Overall, the industry is just so positive. I'm just telling you guys what I'm seeing. Some of you guys are sitting at home, you're glued to the price, I know that, and you think that's the only thing that matters, but trust me when I say this, there are a lot of people in this space that are building real utility, and they do not concentrate on the price they are building because they know Web3 is the future, and I do believe that is the case. 
All right, guys, stay strong, my friends. Let's see what happens when the U.S. market opens. Right now, things are trending up. With the halving event, less than 11 hours or 10 hours by the time you watch this, it's going to be very, very, very exciting. Very exciting indeed. And by the way, another episode of Dirty DGens on CRU Plus tonight. The guys are not missing it. They are that DGens. Uh, so watch it tonight as well. Okay, so smash the like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.